Welcome to this brief overview and demo of Synity Data Replication. You can download a trial version of the product with a full evaluation license from www.synity.com data replication. Enterprise data systems are not always agile enough to support multiple new applications like business intelligence, analytics and reporting. Synity Data Replication makes corporate data available for data storage and analytics in the cloud or for on-premise business applications. Replicate data from any major database to targets including relational databases or big data platforms pretty much anywhere on-premise or in the cloud. Synity Data Replication can also keep data synchronized across legacy systems and various enterprise databases. Capturing only data changes on the source database, Synity Data Replication copies the changes to the target, keeping both systems synchronized in real time. Minimal data is passed between systems to limit the impact on the source system and optimize access to the target system. Synity Data Replication supports enterprise data integration efforts with its high performance use of change data capture. This flexible, small footprint product is minimally intrusive when replicating data from any major database platform. The total cost of ownership is low with an easy to use graphical user interface to set up, run and evaluate replications across multiple sources and targets. Support for targets ranges from on-premise or cloud databases to cloud analytics platforms including Amazon, Microsoft Azure and Google BigQuery. Data is replicated from source to target using snapshot or refresh, mirroring or change data capture and synchronization. Refresh mode copies all selected data from the source database to the target. Mirroring mode or change data capture copies only change data from the source database to the target. Native database logs are used to identify these changes since the last replication. Synchronization replicates change data from source to target and target to source, keeping data in two or more databases synchronized. For most databases, Synity Data Replication uses widely available Windows.NET data providers to create connections to source and target systems. Use the Management Center and Wizards to set up connections and replications then schedule and run them using the replication agent. The server agent manages replication metadata and multiple clients, either additional management centers or custom applications developed using the API. Here's an overview of the steps involved in setting up and running replications. First, define a source connection with any information needed to access the native log. Then define a target connection and if needed create the target tables. Once the connections are in place, create replications specifying where the data is coming from, which fields are going to be included in the mapping and scheduling execution. Lastly, run the replications, then review and manage progress or results using tools in the Management Center. Now we'll look at the Management Center and explore these steps in more detail. Here's the Management Center. The default metadata database stores all the replication setup information. To create a source connection in the Metadata Explorer, go to the Sources node, then right-click to add a new connection. In the Source Connection Wizard, Enter a name for the source, Oracle ERP, and select the database, which in this case is Oracle. And that's all the information needed on this screen. Now it's time to enter the actual location of the Oracle server, the IP address and service name, 
and then the user ID and password. At this point, it's a good idea to test the connection to the database server before moving on to add the tables to the connection. Now, choose tables to replicate to the target database. Here's the database, and here are the tables. Click Next to view the Actions page. This is a change data capture or transactional replication, so check Launch the Enable Transactional Replication Setup Wizard to define the log settings for the Oracle database. In this wizard, set the type of log reading for obtaining the latest source data. In this case, use the default log reader. Log server agent would be a good choice for performance reasons with large numbers of records. There is no need here to change the log settings for this Oracle installation. On clicking Next, settings are checked before displaying the Actions page. The next step is to create a connection to the target database, so check the option Launch the Add Target Connection Wizard before clicking Next. After reviewing the changes made in this wizard, click Finish. In the Add Target Connection Wizard, create a target connection called SAP HANA ERP. The connection will be to a HANA database. HANA connections require a server and port number. As with the source connection, it's a good idea to test the connection before proceeding. Here, the tables don't yet exist on the HANA database, so there's no table selection step. They'll be created after the wizard's completed. When replicating from Oracle logs to HANA, there's no need to provide log settings for HANA, so there's no need to run the Enable Transactional Replication Wizard. Now both the Oracle Source and HANA Target Base connections have been created and it's time to create tables on the target database. To create the customer table, drag it down to the target database to open up the Create Target Table wizard. The source connection is the Oracle Source, the table is the customer table. In the next screen, the target connection is HANA and the schema is SDR Demo. Next, review the structure of the table as it will be created in the HANA database. It's possible to modify the data types and size of the fields if necessary. This is the SQL statement that's used to create the table. Click Finish to create the table on the HANA database. The table isn't automatically added to the Metadata Explorer but it's useful to see it, so add it to the list of target tables. Here it is under the SAP HANA ERP target. The next step is to create a replication from the customer table in the Oracle source to the customer table in the HANA target by dragging the table from source to target. This is a single table-to-table -table replication, but most real applications consist of many such replications. If the same source database is used, replications can be created together and grouped to optimize connection and log access times. The replication name in this case defaults to the table name. It's a mirroring replication which will update changes from the source to the target. The connection name and table name have automatically been entered, Oracle ERP and the table name is customers. Here are the details on where to start replicating from. 
the default is to use the current point in the log. The read interval sets the frequency to check the log between replication events. If the setting is 60 seconds, the log is checked every 60 seconds for new transactions that need to be replicated to the target table. This information can also be changed in the Replication Properties dialog after the wizard is completed. The target connection and table have already been entered. And this is the default mapping between the source table and the target table. Because the source and target tables have similar fields, the automatic mapping maps all fields. However, the mapping can be customized. Typically in mirroring replications, the first step is to completely copy the data from the source to the target one time, and that would be the execute initial refresh, run one time only. Following that, the mirroring schedule is actually based on the read intervals setting discussed earlier. Click next and finish to complete the replication. Now the customer's replication has been created. To create multiple replications at the same time, use the Create Multiple Replications wizard for a connection. You can also create replication groups to optimize database connections and manage replication properties for multiple replications at one time. The Service Monitor down here in the Windows Notification area gives access to the replication agent to run replications. Right click on that and start the replication agent as an application. Typically in a full scale implementation it will be running as a Windows service. Here's the created replication in the browser. Use the Replication Monitor to review execution. Note that the replication has run one time and it was successful with no failures. To see more about the replication, open the History Viewer. This shows how many times a replication has run and what happened during the cycle. Here you can see that when mirroring, a new record was found and inserted in the target database. The History Viewer also shows information from the log. If there are any errors or warning messages, they will be recorded here as well. You can also use the verifier for diagnostics and management. You can check which records have been copied from the source to the target. In this case, all of the correct records were copied from the source table, but the target table has one additional record that was already there, not on the source. We've shown you how to set up a change data capture replication between Oracle and HANA, but we'd like to leave you with a reminder that Synity Data Replication is ready to take on the challenges of integrating relational data with all your business critical systems, on-premise or in the cloud. For a full list of supported source and target databases, check our website.